Today we got a treat. The, I mean, <laughs> every day is a treat doing this kind of work. Uh, we got an Arctic Fox here, and it is uh, Arctic Fox uh, fifth wheel. Uh, it's a small little one. Uh, this is fitting our driveway. We've had ones coming all the way up to here. So, uh, but I think about the smallest fifth wheel they make. Putting, uh, well, let's take a look. Let's see what we got going on here. So, um, this is the canvas we got to work with here. And you know what we're doing here. We're gonna put the board up there, a bunch of stuff. Um, we've got uh, two ampere time batteries with the uh, self heating option here. Customer already built this together, or put this together. And uh, I wanna point this out. He actually used, it was ingenious, used the shipping, uh, the shipping foam for this framing. And I thought that was pretty brilliant. It provides a thermal barrier, and then he's just wrapping those with uh, the little insulating blanket. And uh, that should help out quite a bit. Uh, yeah, we got a board back there. We actually already have that made up. We're gonna take a look at that here in a minute, but let's uh, see what else we got going on here. Let's come around to this side. We've got the the original battery bay here with these two batteries. These are going out of here. We don't need those. But what I do like here is the main connections are right there. So that's going to work out real well. We can hit the yeah, we can hit the mains without much trouble. Uh, in here, a little tough to see maybe, but took uh, one panel off and we got access to all this room for activities. Uh, I think we're going to come down either right here or through the vent pipe itself. And uh, that's usually my modus operandi, is just to use the vent itself. Let's not make any extra holes if we don't have to. So that's gonna, where the solar is gonna come down. Now there already is a small solar system on here. Let me show you that here in a second. Uh, well, a little bit later. It is the cutest little solar panel I've ever seen. Yeah, that's what we got going on there. Now the trickiest part about this entire build I'm pretty sure is going to be running the AC lines from this bay here underneath all the way to the converter and that's on the other side of this bay here. Uh, let's go take a look at what we got going on, on the roof. Loving our new scaffold, nice treated decking. I mean, I built a deck. Uh, here's what we got going on up here. Look at that cute little solar panel. That's what's up there right now. Uh, where originally we were thinking about trying to integrate that into the system. I don't know if it's really worth it because we'd have to pair that with a 100 watt panel, but that's like a 20 watt panel. I don't, I don't think that really makes sense. Uh, short of adding even more if they wanted to, but we'll see. Uh, up there is four 200 watt panels. That's for 800 watts. So we got that going on. Let's go take a look inside now. At what we got going on? Let's see. Yeah, we got a little bit of light. All right. Um, pulled this out. This is the charge controller, and uh, that little panel got the voltage up to 12.9. That's not bad. Not bad. Um, and as far as I can tell, these are the, yeah, these are the battery connections all the way up here. That means you can put a pretty beefy controller right here if you wanted to. And then these are the existing solar connections, which these are not big enough. I'm just saying this is probably 12 gauge. This is not 10, I don't think. So anyway, uh, if we wanted to keep that controller, what we'd have to do is keep it here. And uh, what else is going here is a servo display. But we'll get to that here in a minute. I'll tell you what, these Arctic Foxes, I mean, look at this in here. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. As far as, well, anything goes. It, it's, it's a step up from, I hate to say it, grand design, in my opinion. Just build quality overall. It's a, it's a nice high-end thing. Uh, but we got the converter back there we're going to have to disconnect. And then we got the main panel right there. So this is where we're going to have to get to. 
which means going underneath the belly. So we're gonna have to take that down. Not looking forward to that, but it needs to be done. So that will be done. Hey, we got Maya here. This is the neighbor dog. Uh, I haven't talked about it too much yet, but we lost our Coco. So Maya's been hanging around. Yeah. I'll talk about that probably on the, on the bus channel. Maybe I'll do that video this weekend, but. Oh, I missed that girl. So here we are, this is the board. This is the operating table. Uh, we got it all put together today. Spent most of the day working on this. And uh, we got the Multi Plus 3000. Uh, we were originally planning a 2000, but they just wanted a little bit more overhead to run the microwave and whatever else, and just not have to worry about it. And you know, it's about a $450 difference, not a big deal. But then of course, one thing leads to another. And uh, we did decide to upgrade to the Serbo GX, and this time we're using the Serbo S GX. The only difference in that is we lose, um, I think we lose our tank inputs and the BMS can uh, ports up on top. For most people, not a big deal at all, but it saves you about 70 bucks. And then of course, using the display here, already got that set up and programmed. Uh, and then of course, because we're going to that display, we can use a smart shunt, not the BMV. That saves a little bit of money there too. Uh, you know, I mean, the cost on the Serbo display itself, uh, Serbo GX and display, you know, on paper with the S is like 550, but um, when you use the reduced cost Serbo GX S and you swap out a couple other components, like you can use the blue solar charge controller instead of the smart solar, that saves you a little bit of money. Uh, it ends up only being about a three, three hundred fifty dollar uh, upgrade, which is a lot more affordable. Of course, got our Lynx distributor here, and uh, I'll show you. I made a couple of changes in here. Of course, we got our little cable in here to make the lights light up. But uh, I got a bright idea and decided to start putting my negative on this terminal and all my positive wires on this terminal. Before I was just you know, kind of following the crowd and going with that one. Um, but then it was just a mess of cables right there. So I'm liking this a little bit better. Then, uh, of course, we've got our main fuse there and uh, got the lab power supply giving it power. So we just got done programming it all. And next, uh, this is going in. All right, uh, we are about to put the board in there. And so what I did is I uh, put some uh, three quarter inch plywood backers up there. So it's a little bit easier to screw into. Uh, and I did self tapping screws, guys like this right here. <clears throat> to secure those up there. And then uh, those are a little bit easier to hit and it spaces things out for these right here. So we can make those runs a little bit easier. So that's a plan there anyway. And then, uh, AC lines will come up through here. May have to uh, pull some of these out to snake those around. But anyway, let's get uh, let's get that up there. All right, quick little morning update. Got uh, this all installed. Got our mains connected here. We just went right up the cable wrap. Got the batteries out. Got uh, some connections made here and. And oh, who's this guy? Straight oh, from good morning. Straight from Arizona. Oh man, it was a tough flight. <laughs> My arms are tired. <laughs> uh, JD, it's good to have you back. Oh, I know, it's good to be back. It's not freezing up here anymore. Yeah. So, I'll take it, I'll take it. This morning it was 50, it's gonna be 70 today. So it's just updating uh, everyone on the YouTube here where we're at on this project. As you can see, we got that in there. Looking nice. Yeah, it's going, it's coming together. And uh, the fun thing we got to do today is uh, run our AC main, solar, all the way down here and and the uh, servo display data lines. And then uh, get the panels taken care of up top and all that stuff. And then I think uh, we can send this guy home. Oh yeah, I like the sound of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is it folks. We are in the thick of battle here. We've got uh, the solar wires ran through there. Got the data lines here 
running the uh, AC lines here and we got this nice cabinet compartment that's uh, for utility access. You can almost add a cabinet in there if you wanted to. But we got uh, JD's down here doing the real work. <laughs> Taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, and we're running the, the AC lines underneath the good insulation on these Arctic Foxes. And we got mm -hmm. another set of fish sticks, I think to- Shooting to, that way, yep. yep. I'll show right you there. where that's coming out. Oh, oh, finally hit my head. Oh, you bleeding? No, not yet. Good job. So it's gonna come out here. Hopefully I didn't pull that in the way it shouldn't be. Um, but yeah, you can see the solar and data lines here. We'll just coil these up, put them back there. And we'll run them all together in a piece of cable wrap up there. Come out there, we're home free. Well, almost home free. We got the other side to worry about too. But. There he is, lying down on the job again. Mm -hmm. Waiting for somebody to feed the wire to me. Oh, is that what I need <laughs> to do? Yeah. All right, sorry. JD wasn't able to stay too long, but he did to help uh, with the really hard parts. And uh, take a look at this beautiful night shot as we close on another successful day. Well, today we are wrapping up the Arctic Fox here. Let's uh, let's see where we're at and uh, review our progress. We're on the final day of our Arctic Fox here. So let's uh, take a look at where we're at, what we're doing, what we got left. It's not much, to tell you the truth. Uh, here's our uh, lovely board situation here. Um, added the of course the little led strip back there it definitely gives some lighting to this compartment because for as nice as arctic foxes builds are they don't put up light in here so this is actually pretty functional not just for style then uh yeah got our light going there fuse 600 amp disconnect uh, multi plus all that's going tested did a uh air conditioner load test on it. Ran that for about an hour or two while I was wrapping up some stuff inside. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> batteries are looking good here. And then inside this bay here, we've got, uh, yeah, we ran everything. You can kind of see in there a little bit. That's where everything comes up. Put uh, everything in conduit there and then it goes right into that hole wouldn't even know we did anything in there JD finished up that got that put back together down there here's uh, in this thing again just wanted to point out how nice this is plumbing and or appliance access that's so great like I'm just that makes someone like me just thrilled. Uh, so we've got uh, the 30 amp AC in and out lines in there. Uh, got a little extra. It came up through that plumbing hole underneath the tanks. Basically we made a run from there over here at right angle over. And then uh, I did have to drill a hole in here to get underneath this cabinet because we had to make it all the way over there and you can see hey there's nothing there there's this cabinet steps up just a little bit and then back behind there it wasn't that it wasn't too bad some of you sharp-eyed viewers may notice there used to be a wire running here up to here well now it's just here this is uh, the customer's satellite radio. And before it was all basically like Velcroed to this and that wasn't very nice. So we just took this opportunity to run that hidden for them. If we can do stuff like that, we will definitely do it. And let's see where we're at here. Well, it's not too bad. We've got, uh, yeah, got our monitor here again. This is what used to be there. This, uh, charge controller this is the actual charge controller right on the wall i feel like that's kind of weird whatever uh we were at 55 percent and or sorry we were at 100 percent yesterday 
but I ran the air conditioner and now I figured let's uh, let's just let solar charge it up today uh, while we're working on it and before customer picks it up and that was really easy just straight down this wall uh, it was a little tricky getting the solar uh, wires because we ran new ones uh, we went right in between there's two vent pipes there went right in between it we ended up finding fish sticks worked the best fish tape did not work and we couldn't just run the wires themselves down fish sticks was the key that's everything on the ground let's go look on top so here's what the 800 watts of solar looks like up top here um, just have it all hooked up for now uh, I don't have anything secured down yet I like to do that I like to put it all up here test it before I do that, uh, that way if there's any mistakes, anything that needs to be adjusted, we can do that without any problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and secure all these down, get all this stuff off of there, and then uh, we'll show you the reveal. Okay, here we are, all wrapped up. Got our uh, die core under and over our Z brackets. Got our, our uh, roof port mounted, looking good. Got some uh, VHB tape, return of bond tape, <clears throat> securing some of the cords down. But uh, overall, here it is. I think it's looking pretty good, working pretty good. We were not able to use this 100 watt panel uh, because the other panel that was here was actually only 20 watts. So there's just no way. You gotta pair it with another panel and ideally you want it to equal pretty close to 200 watts to really even give it a chance of working so it just wasn't going to work anyway i'm going to get down from here get the rest of our stuff down and and uh we're gonna get this one out the door well i think that'll about do it for us here at uh soda solar and uh hey it was good to have jd back in town hopefully he's going to be stopping by helping out with some more projects uh but um anyway if you need uh, any help with a rig like this or something bigger, something smaller, doesn't matter. Uh, this is probably about our medium size system, but uh, if you need any help at all, uh, we can install it, sell it, support it, whatever you need. Hit us up on the, uh, on the internet or the text or whatever way you find appropriate to contact us. SodaSolar.com, that's S-O-T-A-S-O-L-A-R.com. Bye.